Imagine you have a bigger code base and you need some logging for entering and leaving some critical methods to analyze the program control flow. As you already have a logger in place, you decide to simply add a debug log at the beginning and the end of those methods. But what about exceptions? We simply add a try finally block to ensure that the leaving of the method is locked in any case. This code does not really look clean. Luckily, there's a better way using iDisposable and the using statement. We create a new API at the logger interface, which returns a class which implements iDisposable. In the constructor of this class, we log the entering of the given method. In the dispose method, we log the leaving of the given method. We then use the new API together with the using statement, which ensures that the dispose API is called when the scope is left. In modern C Sharp, we can also use the using statement without a block to avoid additional nesting. But there's even more. We can use the caller member name attribute to tell the compiler to automatically pass the name of the calling method. Now we can define a logging scope in a clean way. Let me know in the comments whether you would like to see a video about how to use this concept to implement an event guard.